Hello everyone, it's Livia here, aka Story Minded, and I'm just going to make a video for Black Sheep. Um, this is the third of my library books that I've literally just finished reading, and oh my god, it was so good. It was so sad. It was so sad, but so good. So, Black Sheep um, is set in this place called Mount of Zeal. Um... And Mount of Zeal is designed like an amphitheatre, so like a really big, like that, you know, like the Greek, the old Greek theatres that used to have. Um, it's designed like that. And each level um, has a different name. So there's Lower Terrace, there's Middle, and then there's Upper Terrace, which is also known as Paradise. Um, so if any of you have ever seen my videos before, you'll know that I love books that have religious elements and this book is full of them um so metaphorically you have the lower terrace which pretty much is hell because that's where the pit is it's like a mining community um so lower terrace is hell middle is like purgatory and upper terrace power is meant to be paradise um and obviously they sort of um also have social social status links as well because the lower you are the lower class you are and the middle you sort of that houses all the sort of clerical people who work at the pits and then upper paradise i think they're either retired or they're just um they're like the managers the managers of the pits and everything but um the story follows this family called the halker family i think that's how you pronounce their names um and there's Arthur, is it Arthur? I've literally just read this book and I'm like having a, no it's not Arthur, that's one of the brothers, it's John, there's John and Evie um, who are the parents, then they have loads of children, they have Arthur, Jimmy, Clive and Ted, Ted's the youngest and then they also have a daughter Rose. Um, the story follows their lives living in Mount Azil, um and you it's a very traditional setup so you gain the sense that the women the women only have um their only role in this world is to have babies and to be housewives and look after their husbands and make the bait tins before their sons and husbands and brothers go out like to the pits um and sort of for the women side of it they that's all they can aspire to really and what I really love about the title is it's so clever because Ted the youngest and Rose are very unconventional. So as Ted's growing up, he's surrounded by all this sort of um, Bible scripture, which is really interesting actually because although it's a very religious sort of setup, like in the sense of modesty and everything like that, none of them really... T in fact, I don't think God's ever really met, hardly mentioned in this book. And it's almost like it's in the background, but they don't really use it. Except for the older generation, like um, Reuben, who is um, John's dad, Ted's grandfather. He sort of, as Ted's grown up, he'll read the Bible to him. And he also has a wife called Alice, who becomes very, very sick. And it's very sad, and I won't spoil what she has. But she ends up dying, and then Reuben moves in with them. So they become like a very claustrophobic close family and um but Rose and Ted are very unconventional so as Ted's growing up he le they leave school at 14 and Ted does not want to go to the pits he's terrified of ending up in the pits and he just wants a different life for himself and throughout the story like in the beginning you discover this quite quickly one of the brothers Arthur he goes missing which is never explained and it's very interesting but he he just goes missing and he leaves behind this like little pocket knife that Ted keeps with him so he obviously works out that his brother didn't die in the pits and wasn't like reported he reckons that his brother r ran away and I guess in a way that almost inspires him to do the same like later on although he doesn't actually run away um and Rose ends up marrying this really horrible man and she she gains happiness by working in a shop and she loves everything about it and that's very unconventional because women don't work in this world she never has children which is another 
way that she becomes, as you would call it, a black sheep because she, um, they sort of look at her and think, well, why isn't she having children? She's been married for two years and yes, they are sort of sexually active and everything, but they just never have children for whatever reason and, oh, it's so sad. I won't spoil the ending, but um, it reaches a point later on as all this is going on where Ted, he he's turned 14 because the book is split into parts and Ted leaves school and he basically turns to his parents and says I'm going to go and find work somewhere else I don't want to work in the pits and John his dad gets very angry and sort of like quite like indignant because it's like you know you come from a pit mining family and to begin with they just sort of leave it because they think well you're going to the pits on the 1st of September because it's summer holiday so he's just thinking well you know you're going to the pits anyway so whatever and he leaves um, Mount of Zeal it's the first time we actually move away from this area in the book which I thought was really powerful and he ends up bumping into this farmer it's a very brief encounter he goes back home and then he's like no so he goes back like the next day and he actually he's shocked himself at like what he comes out with and he asks like would you have any work for me although he has no experience with animals or anything like that and he's like actually all right we need um some help with the ewes and he ends up working and living on this farm away from his family and then he returns and it's so sad his whole family i guess apart from rose and away although rose is sort of married and living elsewhere at this point but they all sort of are really cold towards him and they're sort of turned against him and then it just everything goes downhill really it's a very it's a very as you can see it's a very short book but it's so powerful and it's amazing there's just oh, there's just such a sense of hopelessness there's like moments of pure hope and then it just like completely tears it apart and I won't spoil how it actually ends or what happens but it's it's a very sad book but I loved it I just love the atmosphere it creates it's very monotonous like not the actual writing the writing is brilliant but the um the atmosphere that's created is meant to be very monotonous and like they're stuck in their daily routines and it sort of goes from like I guess a bit of like childhood innocence to the adult world and it's like very unforgiving so like gr even growing up Ted Ted and um Rose are incredibly different because Rose is very defined and she has this best friend called Mary and they like smoke cigarettes and they like they gossip and they're sort of like just well Rose doesn't really want to get married she doesn't want to have children because she's seen her mother struggle through it all as well and yeah it's just and Ted is very like reflective he's not like a boy's boy and he looks out of the window and is quite daydreamy and it's just it's a really good book I highly recommend it and I could talk about it for ages but I think I'm gonna stop there Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I need to upload the others that I've done. I just, I need to edit them and everything. But anyway, thank you. Bye.